give you a 360 of the whole place and, and a real feel for the setting of this place. Because this is a This is from the top of the summit. I remember to point it out, you can see where we started. When we go back down, there's one turn we make and you can see the parking lot, you can see the outhouse and your cars and stuff. And then you turn that corner and you can't really tell anymore. But you guys came in right below the green water tank is where our mailboxes are. Oh. Came down to the bottom below that field with the rectangle. Uh, there's a research plot there that Sandy's been working on, a restoration plot. We're in kind of the central north of the satellite. Keep them as a, like in a, a He's in a hawk house. He's, he, you'll see when I bring him out. You want to trap adult hawks, the bandom and, and oh, measurement and all that. Uh, you can set up mist nets. Some of you, you know what a mist net is? It's, it's a, well for hawks it's big mesh. The squares are about this big and it's, it's a, the mesh is, kind of, is made of very fine black nylon. And it's usually 10, 12 feet tall and, and wide. And humans stand, you stand 50 feet away, you can't see it really. And so for hawks, I mean, pasture and small birds, they just set them up where the birds are flying around. The birds, it's smaller mesh, they hit them and they fall in a little, it's kind of loose. You go up and they get a little tangled, you take them out. Yeah, yeah, and, but for hawks, you know, they're moving fast and, and you can use a, a tethered great horned owl on the ground under a net. And if you put it near a nest or something, the adults don't like them there. And they don't come and hit them, they dive bomb them. And they hit the net, oh. you know, and they fall in the net and you go grab him and you can ban him. So he's kind of the lure, but, uh, <laughs> so, you know, he earns his keeps. Okay.